What's up everybody? Um, Sir from Daddy and Pops. We are getting ready to open a pretty big box I was looking forward to. Um, I found this box on Macari. This gentleman um, who's super nice had sold a ton of lots. Um, and I just, I missed a couple. Some were great, some were right up my alley, some were not, and that's fine. I think everybody got a killer deal. Um, this was a $90 box. Um, he offered $100 with free shipping. I don't recall where he's from. Definitely up north, of maybe uh, Illinois. Um, some, this happened to be a horror lot, and that's some of the things that I collect. I have a few already, um, but the deal was too good to, to pass. I just offered 90 bucks, and he took it in a matter of 30 seconds. So Sydney and I are gonna open it up. Um, I kind of know a little bit of the PPG value already. I'm um, just curious on the damage or anything like that, but I believe most of them are protectors. So we're gonna um, open it up from scratch. Again, 90 bucks. Let's see. So I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna put the box down, and we're just gonna go one at a time and go from there. We're gonna kind of surprise ourselves. All right. Huh. I think we got a couple surprises too. So we're gonna go one at a time, I'll show you. Um, we're going a little bit 8 bit. This is basically uh, Jason Voorhees, number 23, a little bit of corner damage and stuff like that. It's the 8-bit um, version right here. Pretty cool. Uh, another Jason, um, number one, just. Yep, that's your common number one. That's good for anybody's collection. Um, those two, I think I wrote a couple of them down. That Jason, yeah, the 8-bit, I mean, it might be 8 bucks. Um, and another common six or seven dollars or something like that. Nothing crazy. Um, go ahead and pull that one. We'll do it together. This is what I'm looking forward to right here. A couple swamp things right here. If you guys can see them. I didn't realize one was the PX exclusive and the other one was the glow in the dark. Um, I thought they were just both commons when I first saw the photo. I wasn't paying attention, but um, yeah, that's a $12 one. And well, I guess that's the $12 and $10 one. So they are both pretty common. I'm thinking of another one that's coming out. Let me just stack them, it's fine. Uh, Walmart exclusive after this, we got uh, The Walking Dead, black and white, Daryl Dixon. Pretty simple, $5 pop, no big deal. Uh, we got another 8-bit Jason. This time it's blue and it's in pop. That one's the GameStop one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's worth 20 bucks, so that one's actually pretty good. Um, I don't collect the 8-bits normally, but for uh, any horror fan, it's pretty good. I have a few of my buddies I like to share stuff with, so um, that might work out pretty good for us. Um, a couple ones that I did have or already have, which Hellraiser 3 Chatter, the Walmart exclusive, is an awesome one. If you can see it here, definitely look it up. I think he's only 11 or 12 bucks, but um, you can't really find him anymore um, at the Walmart stores. But man, he's really cool. The Walmart exclusive Chucky. Yep, that's the Chucky with the face torn off. Oh, I love Chucky. Uh, my store got a couple more locally, but he's a good one. I've had him before too, so it's definitely a bonus in mine. I think he's only 10 or 15 bucks as well. Uh, these uh, Halloween Monsters Pops from Walgreens were a challenge to find. Um, from an Invisible Man to the Draculas ended up being all over the place, but um, this Frankenstein with holding the flower is pretty cool. He's holding value anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. Um, I have this one already, which is fine, but again, that's another good one to have. And a pop protector as well. We got Billy from Saw. Yeah, Cindy just pulled that Billy one. Um, I had picked one up. I'm actually gonna compare the boxes, but that's a good $35, $40 pop. I saw that one first. Um, there's a lot of fakes going around for the glow in the darks, I think, um, which I do not own. But um, again, just another one in the horror collection. The one I was looking for. The Shining, Jack Torrance Chase. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's cold from the movie. Oh, gosh. He's really cool. Um, that's cool. Our local FYE got three in a row, basically three weeks in a row, and they were so damaged um, that I don't think any of us collectors even picked it up. I think one of my friends picked it up and just gave it to another friend. It was so mangled in each box. So been, been on the lookout for that one for a long time, so it's definitely staying in my collection. Um, again, 35, 40 bucks, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying not to hide the city's face. 
Yeah. Another one, one of the coolest horror pops around. Glow in the dark, hot topic exclusive pinhead. Oh, it's glow in the dark. Yeah. How is that? I've had them both. I've sold a couple to friends for cost. Um, but man, this one's it's such a killer mold. Um, that one's gone up and down. It's been as low as 15. I think it's back up to 25 or something like that. You can probably stack those behind if you want. Um, Invisible Man, I talked about that one. I actually have the Chase um, version of this one. He um, was super hard to find in mine. I think there's only one in my entire county. And I think a lot of us are on the search for him, but still a cool one to have. The Invisible Man Common from Walgreens, another Monsters line. I think he's holding like 12 or 15 bucks as well. Is that a Universal Studios monster? Uh, Dra Dracula? Yep, there's that Dracula one holding the candle. Um, I know Wal uh, Walgreens put a lot of them on clearance. Um, at the end there, I think a lot of people scooped them up for five or eight or 10 bucks um, max. So they're, um, it was a pretty good deal. I have a couple, I like them. It doesn't matter the value on that one for me. Um, yeah, hold on. The Nun, I think there was two versions of this one. Um, I'd have to look that up. Cool box, scary little demonic nun. I think you can get them at Hot Topic or even FYE. Um, I think she's only eight or 10 bucks. Um, but a cool looking pop, I did not pick this one up, so this will probably stay in my collection. Um, pretty cool, pretty crazy looking face though, if you can see it. Yeah, disturbing as Sydney would say. Um, I think she's only eight or ten bucks again. This one? Yep. All right, another one that was cool. This is Glow in the Dark Wolfman. Um, not easy to find. Um, I thought he said the insert was gone. Or maybe it wasn't the original insert, possibly, but it looks like it is. It does move around a little bit. I'll have to check it out. But this is the uh, Toy Tokyo Limited Edition. Um, Glow in the Dark Wolfman, number 114. I'm probably gonna keep that one. Um, I did have it at one point. Um, he's like 28 or 30 bucks or something like that. How do you even pronounce this? Yeah. Chit. Chit. <laughs> it's from Books A Million exclusive. Um, wow. I do not own one of these. I thought it was the common $10 one you can just get at the store. Come to find out, it's the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which is usually shared by other places. And I'm pretty sure it's glow in the dark. Um, this is number three under the books line. He is awesome. Um, with the protector as well. Um, pretty cool. Again, I don't have that one. That's probably a keeper for me because I like glow in the dark too. Last but not least, and I'm not a big fan of the larger pops. I do have one. I have Tony the Tiger, which I really like because we all like frosted flakes. Um, I don't collect a lot of the ad icons. Um, but that one was cool. However, in the horror theme, go ahead. We got the uh, 10 inch Pennywise. Um, as creepy as it is, um, I do not own it. Um, I might hand it off to a friend or something like that, but he's a, I think he's brand new, what, 30 bucks or so. So he's just holding value at 25 or $30. Oh, look at that. Um, my girls like the movie It. And Pennywise, I thought it was a great series of movies, um, so it's pretty cool to have. Really cool set. Um, obviously, the max amount of money that this is worth came up to like three hundred and thirty dollars. Um, with damage and stuff, it's realistic. I mean, maybe two fifty, three hundred bucks max. But again, for ninety dollars, shipped from several states away, and I'm in Florida. Um, it was a great deal. He put up some killer stuff online, and I missed a couple like today as well, but um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it and go from there. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Surfing Daddy and Pops, Sydney will join me most of the time. She's got her own YouTube channel as well. We're going to start something up with some other K-pop stuff, for some music with her and her sister. So uh, we'll keep you informed. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See ya.